my time's all about. Yeah. For the uninitiated, the Garden State Exposition Center is not actually where the exhibition center is, it's just kind of one big exhibit hall, surrounded by a bunch of hotels in the middle of the marshlands. And unfortunately, it's a nice elevated off the ground exhibit hall, and underneath it's a parking garage. And in terms of they also have that parking garage double as their extra convention space. Mm. They even had lights in the ceiling and a giant portable air conditioner sitting in the middle of the parking lot with little plastic tubes running all over the ceiling to cool the space. So you walked out this little back door for the exhibit hall, you went downstairs saying, okay, they have a basement. No, no, you just look at your feet. Asphalt? <laughs> this is a fucking parking lot. It's Aki Khan, yeah. It's that's issues, and they're not there anymore, they're now down over here. I think that's Summer, I want to say it's Summer, said the, uh, it starts with, what the hell do they call this New Jersey Exposition Center? Yeah, it's, it's a somewhat larger hall, almost the exact same. One giant exhibit hall with a bunch of curtains where you can't hear anything when the band's playing, it's just an echo chamber throughout the building, and which was all surrounded by asphalt. That one has the unfortunate uh, distinction of it being sitting off a two-lane road. It's the only road in and out of the site. It's also the only road that goes anywhere through the site. So when you're trying to get from building to building, because some of them are a little spread out, you have to cross that road if you're walking, and if you drive, you have to try to avoid getting pedestrians, while the one poor traffic cop who's sweating to death keeps trying to keep people from running across the street and fails miserably because we don't listen very well. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is the new place. You think, oh, yeah, interstate right there. Yeah, it doesn't really connect at all there. You can kind of sort of see if there's an interchange here, but you end up kind of going like this, and you come back, and then that's a two-lane road. All things a two-lane road. A couple of little hotels here. What do you not see in this picture? Well, okay, you don't see a crosswalk either, it's a little zoomed out. Restaurants. There's nobody eating near there. There's, there's like two restaurants in the whole goddamn complex. You haven't had any meat, actually, any real food. So, and in fact, Tom's in there. And then, one of these goddamn stairs, yeah, that square, and the hotel behind here, which is kind of nice, except you have to walk through a little. A little walk that kind of wiggles down a hillside, over a creek, and then back up behind the hotel. And it's kind of dark and a little bit scary. Imagine if it rained, it would be kind of dangerous. Yeah, well, that goes without saying. At least it isn't Trenton. that last one. Yeah, in fact, uh, this is the old building. You can see. Back when we were there, it didn't have solar cells on the roof, and most of that was actually wasn't there, so it was just kind of this building in a run by a bunch of business hotels and a whole lot of the metal lines. I don't really want to jump to next. Hmm. Now you, you see a couple of names show up on your lot. That's Con and Otacon. Well, yeah, well, thankfully for the most part, Anime USA is also a very well-run convention. It's moved a little bit over the years. It used to be uh, the, the building I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> it's, it's a, uh, actually a shared in, I don't know where the fuck this is, sure. There we go. Out here at the Addison of Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Does anyone know anything about Tyson's Corner, Virginia in this room? Super congested. Oh, yeah, it's only gotten worse because uh, this whole thing's a giant construction pit for, I mean, not the Metro Rail line, which will have a station directly in front of the hotel, which would be really great back when you're actually at the con there. Because when you're putting 3,000 people in a hotel, you'll notice there's not a whole lot of parking spaces around here. There's a deck right there, there's a deck below that, and that was it. 3,000 people means you know, anywhere from one to 2,000 cars, they'd say sort of about 600. Yeah. 
Yeah, I ended, up, I ended up walking all over the neighborhood, the, well, kind of the neighborhood anyway. There's really not a neighborhood there yet. Maybe in the future, once they figure out what the hell they're doing. Common kind of Central Trade was just not the best hotel. We always had an elevator break every year. Didn't matter how much maintenance they've done before, we always broke at least one of them. And it was that year the game where made events space to a uh, youth leadership Friday night. That was just... Speaking of badges, you're in our We put this year, a year or two of events. How the fuck do we not have our main events? What did we do? At some sense, they gave us a room full of sugar in the days and beat this to stand on Friday night, but we didn't have our main events days. They really suck at the other two We didn't have that one. We didn't have that one. Same day, right? Yeah. Good. Good. This hotel also, um, it's kind of really, really thick. It's got a shaft, it's got a crown, chicory lord, it's got a crown, and it's got a sack. Yep. It's the Cocker Tyson's Arm. So there, first thing you see in Tyson's Arm, you're coming in from the airport. You come around the curve on the toll road off the airport, and you can see this thing straight up over the bridge. Yep, we're in Tyson's Arm. You can see the deck. Um, yeah. Technically, uh, MSA is not in that hotel anymore. They're actually now. They were at the Hyde Regency in Crystal City, which also used to be the host space. For Catacon, Otacon one year, I think a Worldcon at one point. And they also stayed in there at one time. Basically, the annual injury is because I think it's just a mistake. Well, remember, it used to be a park plaza. I think it's quite commonly one of the Catacon stories. Shall we go? Anyone at Otacon for the year didn't blow up in 2010. What? Really? No one else was at Oakland on 2010? Yo! Okay, oh. up? okay a couple, a couple of folks. Oh, the fire there. alarm. The fire alarm? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had to go someone decided that year to revive a good old-fashioned Oakland contribution of pulling the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Prior to what, uh, any other stories you may or may not have heard, there was no fire, nothing exploded that year. It was just some asshole pulling the fire alarm. Unfortunately, it was in the middle of the afternoon on Saturday. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So, this, well, that was actually where I was just in line Friday morning looking out from the hotel house, and I stayed at the Hyatt on the other side, east side of the convention center. There you go. Sure. That's the old building, so that's the new building. That's the line that goes like.
Because you copped out and you had someone else make your costume. Yes, I know. Wait, who's upstairs right now? Upstairs? Who's back in the room, do you mean? Yeah.